Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today we're going to make really fun Halloween treats. This video is the first video of the month, which means it's part of my Bake and Share series, where I share very easy recipes to bake so that you can share the joy with the people around you. I believe baking is all about creating memories and sharing the joy. And I really hope you will join me on this series. And today I'm going to share with you how to make meringue ghosts and mummies. They're super fun. Kids love it and really easy and inexpensive to make. So for this recipe, you will need egg whites, sugar, cream of tartar, salt, and um, a little bit black food coloring and vanilla extract. So the first step is to make sure your bowl and the whisk are squeaky clean and free of any fat residue. It's very important that your egg whites don't have any contact with egg yolks or fat, otherwise your egg whites won't whip into a nice meringue. And today I'm actually using a carton egg whites and make sure it comes to a room temperature because it whoops better. Not all carton egg whites work for meringue and I believe some egg whites have a label, it's not for meringue, so make sure just to watch out for that. But for me, this brand works perfectly. So I'm going to start whipping the meringue at medium low speed until it's for me. So my egg whites are nice and foamy and I'm going to add salt and cream of tartar. So continue beating the meringue on medium speed and gradually increase it to medium high and I'll start adding sugar one tablespoon at a time and make sure to wait for a, a few seconds before adding the next tablespoon of sugar. We want to make sure sugar dissolves evenly throughout the meringue and I will whip it until the meringue reaches soft peaks. I added all of my sugar now and the meringue is looking great. It's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to show you the soft peak stage. It's when uh, peak is droopy like this and I like to scrape the sides of the bowl to get all the sugar incorporated evenly so that there's no sugar stuck to the sides. If you leave any sugar granules in the meringue it won't bake properly your meringue cookies will weep and just not turn out well. And I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla now. I'm using my homemade vanilla. It's the best stuff ever. I've started this um, a year ago or so, but I recently made a YouTube shorts video how to make homemade vanilla extract. So if you haven't tried it, go ahead and check it out and make it for yourself and for your family as well. It makes a perfect Christmas gift, by the way. If you do it right now, you still have time to make it for holidays. So I'm gonna continue whipping on medium high. On my KitchenAid mixer, I will be shooting for speed eight until it reaches nice stiff peaks and I'll show you what that means. Let's check the meringue, how it's doing. It's still pretty soft peaks, so we'll have to continue to whip it. And another way to test is take a little bit on your fingers and rub it and see if you can feel any sugar granules. I can feel a little bit granule still, so it's not quite there yet. We'll continue whipping for a few more minutes and check back in. Okay, it should be ready now. Let's take a look. Yeah, looking good. The peak is standing up like this. It's a little soft, but for meringue cookies, it's perfect. So now we'll transfer this meringue into a piping bags. I have two piping bags with two different piping tips. One is 1A round tip, which is bigger round tip, and the one is Wilton 12, a smaller round tip. Smaller round tip is for piping out mummies and the bigger round is for piping out the ghosts. So I'm going to divide the meringue into the bags. A little less batter for the ghosts. 
because my kids love the ghosts more. So squeeze all the air out. So first I'm going to pipe the ghosts. Basically we're going to pipe a tall meringue cookies. I'll show you. How cute is that? It will look cuter when we put the eyes and the mouth. Right now it might not look as funny, but it will we'll get there. You can pipe whatever size you want, but just try to make it as even as possible so that they cook evenly. If you have smaller ones or bigger ones, there will be some will be baked perfectly and some won't. So pay attention to that. Another thing to keep in mind is that meringue likes to squat down, squish down while baking, so don't be afraid to make them taller. Perfect, and now I'll pipe mummies. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do is actually you want to drop a little bit meringue under the parchment paper if you're using a parchment paper. With silicone mats, you don't have to do this, but with parchment paper, if they tend to fly away, you can just use a little bit meringue as a glue. So for mummies, we're going to pipe into zigzag into long, flat cookies. They're super cute too. Perfect. And they won't look as mummies just yet because we need to draw the eyes and everything and then they will look perfect. They will make sense. And for eyes, you can go with different routes. You can buy the candy eyes. I originally used black sesame seeds for eyes for these mummies, but you need to be careful with uh, sesame seeds because some people are allergic to sesame seeds. So. Uh, it might not be an ideal solution, but if you're feeding your family and you know you're not allergic, that's a great, great option. Or you can also use dark chocolate. Into the oven they go, I bake it for uh, 200 degrees, and this will bake for different length of time because these fighter ones will take about 40 to 60 minutes. The taller ones will take about 90 minutes, I would say. You just have to go by feeling, and I'll show you when they come out. At 200 degrees, low and slow, and so they will stay nice and white. So my meringue cookies are baked completely. They're still slightly cooling down. I made a little boo-boo here because after baking for about two hours for these taller ones, you wanna slowly cool the cookies in the oven. What I usually do is I turn off the oven after they have been hardened, keep the oven door closed and cool it completely. That way they will cool nicely and they won't wrinkle like this ones. They're kind of wrinkly, kind of weird texture right now, but that's all right. They still taste delicious and these ones were baked enough. Now I'm going to show you how to decorate this. As mentioned earlier, there are a few ways to decorate these cookies. You can use melted chocolate to draw the eyes and the mouth, or you can also use this mini candy eyes. And I'm going to use this black decorative gel to stick the eyes. For mummies, just put it on, on the top portion, two dots, like so. And you can actually use just gel if you would like. Like I said, I used to use sesame seeds. You want to put them before baking. You can also put these candies before baking as well so that you don't have to use any glue kind of thing. The eyes are cuter, I feel like. 
Oh my goodness, they already look so fun. How fun is that? <laughs> Super adorable, I love it. Now let's decorate the ghosts. The same thing. You can apply the gel onto the eyes too, if you would like. And they really don't have to be perfect at all. And for the month, I'm just gonna leave the decorative gel on. Just make a... <laughs> oh, my kids are gonna love it. Um, this is gonna be a super fun activity with kids too. The only thing is they'll have to muster up some patience while baking. You can bake it overnight like in the evening and then decorate with the kids in the morning also a great idea and you can do that with melted chocolate too if you don't have this uh, decorative gel another thing you can use is uh, edible markers Edible markers are a little tricky because they um, they don't they don't like draw perfectly. They kind of water, but you can also use this too. Like so. I'm excited to show it to my kids because they are obsessed with ghosts. And it's going to be fun for them. How cute is this? I love it. And this mummies are my favorite. If you're going to make it for gifting, I have um, beautiful, cute tags on my website for you to download. My designer created this cute tags for all of you to download for free and for gifting I like to use this kind of um, box and you can just wrap a tag around it on top and you're good to go and if you're going to bake and share this month please share an image on Instagram or Facebook or even send me an email with a photo I would love to see you baking and sharing the joy thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye